Welcome to a new cooking show with Uncle Dreamer. For today's show, we're gonna make chicken with bacon, with spicy stuff in a pita bread. Yeah, so you need pita bread. You need big knife. Things to scoop with. Frying pan. Thing not to burn your hands. It sucks burning your hands. A plate, a tray for the oven. Yes, oven, we need one. Sauces like mayonnaise, ketchup, chili stuff. I like chili stuff. Pepper, and don't forget chicken and bacon. Mmm, nice. I know it's nice. You know why? Because I have to eat it. I hate eating shitty food. Anyway, I start out with rescuing the pita bread from its captivity. It's called a bag. I'm opening it up with a knife because it's funny. I can cut stuff. Ha! Anyway, pita bread, pita bread thing. On the cooking tray. And you put it in the oven. And if you forget about it, it will burn. So don't burn your shit. It's not tasty. The second thing we're gonna do. Turn on the fire. Fire! I like fire with cooking. See, thing, activate, poof. Did you see the big flame? I did, and it was good. Well, folks, for today's thing, I'm gonna eat it for, uh, how do you call it, dinner. So I have some fries in the oven, chippies. I like chippies. So now what I'm gonna do is stop the oven from baking my chippies too much. Huh? Check on them while my pan gets warm. Okay, I got chippies. Chippies! Back in the oven for a bit, though I can turn down the oven. Ha! It will stay warm. Okay, when my frying pan is getting warm and hot, I'm gonna take the bacon. Bacon. And I'm gonna rip pieces off the bacon and chuck it in my frying thing. I didn't use fat because, well, I'm already getting old and starting to grow a gut. But on the other hand, bacon is fatty. Fatty means you don't need fat. Also use a non-stick baking pan. If you do this with a sticking baking pan and you don't have oil, it will stick. That's not fun. In the background, I'm washing my hands because I touched the bacon. It makes my hands greasy and it doesn't feel good. I don't like it when it doesn't feel good. My food has to feel great, taste great, no want to eat it. Okay, I don't need the knife. Ha! So now I'm cooking my bacon in a pan with no butter, no fat whatsoever. La vida, it's cooking. I do this because the bacon takes longer to heat up and be tasty. I'm adding pepper. Pepper is good. And while this is baking and being getting nice and crispy and I'm, I'm, I'm stirring it, look, stirring it, ha, stirring it, it will cook nice. Safety first, I'm checking on my pita bread stuff. Look, pita bread. you turn it and then back into your oven face and this is going to taste so good I like tasty oh for the folks that that have limited budget and stuff if you know a few recipes with the stuff that's actually in your refrigerator, you only have to buy it in bulk and then eat it all week. That's why I eat a lot of bacon because, well, basically I can get it cheap-ish and I know a lot of recipes with it. So I don't need to buy a lot of other stuff. Ha! Huh. Okay. When this is almost warm 
I chuck out a little bit of the bacon fat. It usually comes off. And if it doesn't, well, you can use your wooden thing. It saves up in scratches to tear off little fatty bits and give them to your dog. I like my dog, so my dog gets bacon bits once in a while. Good. Now for step two. After the bacon, you get chicken. Plop. And again, I get cheap luncheon chicken. I buy it at the store around the corner. I just grab off some and I add it in my pan. La 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 la, bacon bits and chicken. It's a good combination to eat your bacon bits with chicken and make it spicy with a lot of stuff. Ha! Again, you hear me washing my hands. I'm not that of much of a clean freak, but still, I don't want to kill myself. I like life because I have bacon and chicken. Okay, while this is getting warm in my pot, I will turn down the heat slightly. I don't want to make it burn too much. And well, because I like tasty stuff, I will add a little bit more pepper. Pepper! Spicy, spicy. So now I can smell the bacon, the chicken, and the pepper in my pot. It's getting warm, toasty, and nice, and whatnot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna check my pita bread. And they start to look fine. Okay. Now for the interesting part. I turn off the gas. I am not going to do the mayonnaise in it right now because mayonnaise is based on eggs and it will do weird shit. But since I'm using a non-stick pan, I can just add in the ketchup and the chili because that makes it taste awesome. And because my, my pan, right, it's warm. That means that the sugar and the, in the chili and the ketchup, it will start to caramelize. It will turn sticky and tasty, which is good. I like sticky and tasty. Sticky and tasty, tasty and sticky. Put it in my mouth and eat it. Yeah! Okay, so the pan is cooling down. And the chili stuff and all that, it, it, it's melting and caramelizing and turning tasty. Look, tasty. And it also clears my sinuses because of all, all, all the chili stuff. It's really awesome. If you have a cold, this will fix it. <laughs> well, not really, but a little bit. Little plate. Put it on the plate so it can cool down a bit. Cool down. Plop. This one goes in the dishes. So now I got a plate of chickeny bacon. Chickeny bacon. Okay. So I've got my pita breads. I got a big plate. Yeah. Okay. Now the trick is to grab it, not burn yourself. And this is where I think paper towels come in handy. Look, I am not burning my hands that much. See? And then you stick in your big knife and you cut the bastard open. Here. If you cooked your pita breads correct and you can put it in the toaster or the oven or whatever fuck what you want to use, right? You can kind of open it. 
and if you can kind of open it, you can take some 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 of your of the filling. Well, you should be able to. Ha! If you can't use both both hands, and you take your filling ish, and you take your pita bread, and you stick it in. Ow! See, paper towel, not burn hands. Better. I don't like to burn my fingers. Okay, so you have like something that looks like a kebab thing. Let's do the other thing, uh, other one. Da da da. It's the kebab for poor people. Poor people that can't pay five pounds for a bread of kebab, but still want to eat good or something. Open it up. Da da da! See, open, open, open sesame. Oh, that's a different story. Anyway, open up, and again, same stupid problem. Use two hands. Two hands is better than one. Hooray! Da 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 Okay. So now I've got the two kebabs, and they're slightly colder, so I can add some mayonnaise. Mayonnaise makes it more creamy. A little bit. Flop in. Okay. So I got two kebabs type things. Plop. Yeah, threw the knife on the floor. And I will get my chippies. Chippies from the oven. Plop. Salt. Mountain of chippies. And remember, I'm Dutch, so I'm gonna drown it in sauce. Drown. Drown some more. It's swimming. Look. A meal fit for a king. Ha! <laughs>